perhaps the most famous unit ever to have served here, Darby's Rangers. I'd like to welcome you sincerely to Ireland on behalf of Aer Lingus. And uh, in Irish we say, Caid Mila Falcha. That means a hundred thousand welcomes. Well, we say ten thousand hundred welcomes. This elite volunteer corps, the spearhead of every European invasion of World War II, was born in Carrick Fergus, Northern Ireland, the only American unit ever assembled on foreign soil. It is perhaps difficult to envisage that the area covered by the Sunnylands estate was once a teeming military encampment. It must look so different from the open fields and countryside which existed here in 1942. Young men from the United States of America were possibly experiencing their first visit outside their country and their mission was one which would lead them into great danger and even death. In June of 1942, a decision was taken which we are now gathered here 50 years later to commemorate. That decision was to form a US version of commandos. Major William O. Darby, aide to Major General Hartle, Commander US Army Northern Ireland, was selected to form a group at the camp sited here. Out of 2,000 volunteers from U.S. units based throughout Northern Ireland, 500 were chosen and activated as the 1st Battalion U.S. Rangers. This very special battalion, affectionately known as Darby's Rangers, was subsequently to become one of the most decorated units of World War II. But we are tremendously moved, we are honored, and we are very, very grateful. I think I want to bottle this so I can take it home and take it with <laughs> once in a while, okay? My sister has been 46 years now in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. She married the first GI in Kerry Fergus. Oh, no. Really? Yes. Okay, here's a piece of gum. That's what we gave out 50 years ago when we were here. Well, I was the local hairdresser. And Kyle Ferguson and I made all the her young ladies beautiful to meet their uh, the dog boys, <laughs> the Rangers. I don't believe I was ever as young as you were. <laughs> or I was never as good looking as you are. <laughs> at least, at least you're representative of today's Rangers. Well, yeah, but we take a lot of our uh, heritage, you know, from you all. We live in Tata. Concentration camp over at, um, at Munich. Munich? Yeah, north of Munich. This would be kind of like our holy land, if you will. You know, this is where it all started. So now I have to get back to the regiment and tell them they need to make the trail to Mecca, if you will. There's our black rocks. The tough physical tests at the Sunnylands camp in the countryside around Carrick Fergus decided who would be a ranger. You had to be strong. You had to be smart. You had to be brave. The task ahead would take everything a man could give, and their order was Rangers lead the way. Carrick Fergus is a place that honors its history and is proud of its links to the United States. John Paul Jones fought the first American naval battle here when his ship, the Ranger, captured the Drake. Andrew Jackson's family came from Carrick Fergus. And now the men of Darby's Rangers have become an official part of the Carrick Fergus tradition. They came to share their memories with each other and the community. Oh, my That's my goodness, postcard I haven't seen my, that, Dad. Those are my letters, uh, my letters home. All right, okay. Yeah. 
Did your first Father yeah. Basil saying services for our first dead in the landing at our zoo. This is uh, Austin right here. Yeah. Yeah. He had his feet in my face in a British pyramidal place. This is a beautiful exhibit. Martin got killed. Al Miller got killed. Ed. Newsom's dead. Yeah. Lost count. Yeah. Does count I don't know if anybody's counting. Well, it'd be easier to count the ones still living then. Right but you know, now. there are five of those guys standing right here in this room. Right. This is Father Basil on the left conducting the services for the burial of those three uh, casualties at our zoo. It's a, it's a, a goose pimply thrill to see all of this. It's a flag that I carried with me all through the war, and I'd like to leave it here for this museum in the name of Darby and all rangers. This brings back all the memories. Except uh, we don't look the same. Yeah. No. <laughs> Roy Murray. Right there. That's right. There's Shester. Ranger exploits became the stuff of legends, but casualties were high. Just back from the fighting fronts are 199 fighting men with an unparalleled combat record. They are United States Infantry Rangers, spearhead in every campaign from Dieppe to Anzio. Unofficially, they are called Darby's Rangers a tribute to the man who organized and trained them and then led them through a total of eight months of fierce frontline fighting. Today, the Army R presents some of Darby's Rangers, including their commanding officer, Colonel William O. Darby, who reports from Fort Benning, Georgia. The Rangers were activated in North Ireland, 19th of June, 1942. They were all volunteers. We picked them for physical fitness, youth, and eagerness to fight. Some people think of the Rangers as supermen. This, they are not. They don't think of themselves as home run hitters or star quarterbacks. They're just garden variety infantry foot soldiers, every one of them, young and willing to do a job. As their organizer and leader, it's hard to say enough about their spirit and ability. I think the best way to show that is to talk to some of them. What age were you when you joined the Army? I had to be 21 to be an officer. I was exactly 21. What rank were you? What rank? Mm -hmm. I was a second lieutenant. I was a junior most second lieutenant in the Rangers. Fresh out of college. Well, my name is Wayne Rona, and I was born and raised in the state of Minnesota in the United States. And the place that I first came was at Port Rush, in between Port Rush and Coleraine. We were told that there's going to be a special unit started in, in our army. Did you get hurt at any time? Well, I was wounded once in Italy. Were you shown? I have special shoes because I had my foot shot off. And if you'll notice, the 